My name is Yusela Henriquez and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. I came to the U.S. when I was three um, after my mother witnessed my father um, being killed in front of her. Um, she took me and my older brother and we came to America. I've been here since I was three years old. I don't know Jamaica. I've never been back. Um, being here is all I know. I've grown up here. I went to school here, went to college here. Every day, like just walking down the street, like people won't know, like, oh, off the back that I'm an immigrant. You know, I don't have an accent. You know, you couldn't tell that I wasn't from here unless I told you. Currently, I'm undocumented. Um, I have my work permit through DACA, and I'm applying for SIG, the Special Immigrant Juvenile Status. What if they say no? Um, there won't be an outright denial of any sort. Mm -hmm. So usually what happens if they have additional questions or like basis for denying, mm -hmm. they'll send us a request for more evidence and then we have a chance to respond to that. And then if they still intend on denying the case, then they'll send us a notice of intent to deny. Mm -hmm. We can respond to that. If worst case scenario, they deny it, then we can fight that, we can appeal. Atlas DIY is a community center based in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Um, we see our long-term work as trying to transform the ways that immigrant youth interact with the forces that affect them. Um, specifically, our mission is to unlock immigrant youth's access to legal services, educational opportunity, uh, leadership development um, in a space governed um, by young people themselves. Name, age, what inspires you, what's a silly or fun fact? and then something about you being a peer educator. As a member of IPEP, okay. which is Immigration Don't Youth care. Peer That's Educator right. Program. Welcome, Every week we're able to meet and discuss different um, topics from you know, social and political issues um, that deals with immigration. Okay, so how old are you? 21. Okay, cool. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. Ooh. I'm trying to start a blog. Uh, about like just writing about uh, how I feel, about writing about oppression in my... Our primary audience is immigrant youth and their allies, age 14 to 24, from the New York City area. Um, we have about close to 700 members um, in our cooperative right now. In addition, we reach almost 10,000 people around the five boroughs of New York City. What? Yeah, your address, you know, With free... Um, immigration assistance, community education, and community outreach work. Most of the young people who come, if they've grown up in this country, a lot of them only realize that they're undocumented at the point that they're trying to apply for college, um, and they realize that they don't have a social security number. Drusilla came to us, referred to us by another organization, and that's often how young people find their ways to Atlas. And I feel like now with um, the new administration, everyone is like starting to realize like we really have to get our acts together. Like we really have to, you know, navigate ourselves and know what we're gonna do with our futures. Most of them, I would say the majority, are eligible for a form of relief called special immigrant juvenile status, which is an immigration um, benefit that is available to young people who meet certain requirements, the main ones being that they're under the age of 21 and they cannot be reunified with one or both of their parents for reasons of abuse, abandonment, neglect, or something similar, for instance, like the death of a parent. Um, Atlas was founded by an immigration attorney and three of her young clients in 2012 around the idea of trying to transform how attorneys and immigrant youth work together. Helps immigrant youth find stability and safety in this country, but also prepares them to be advocates, to be change makers, and, and to be activists. After witnessing my mother go through so many things and seeing her struggle, not have money to, you know, put food on the table and having to depend on other people, it just made me realize that I don't want to live that same lifestyle, you know? I want to be able to do it for myself. I want to be able to work and go to school, have that dream, that American dream. There's a symbolic and psychological impact in, in our culture when the leader of our country and the leader of the free world is talking about um, building a boundary between our southern most neighbor. So I think a lot of the work that we're trying to do at Atlas is to continue to affirm the brilliance of, of, of people. If I stay quiet, I won't really make a difference and things will just continue to go on as they are. After coming here, so I realized that, you know, I have a tight-knit community, I have a family that wants to see me do better. 
and that kind of eases the burden. I'm inspired every day by uh, the young people like Jusil that are you know not being afraid uh, to live their lives and also to help to help other people. Right here. <laughs> Let's, can we complete the circle? Please, please, please. All right.